Today I'm taking you behind the scenes in my filming room. I'm gonna be showing you my everyday makeup collection. Now I will do another video of kind of a whole room tour, but today I wanted to show you my everyday makeup collection. This is the chair I film in. It is also the chair that I do my makeup in. So here we go, there's me. We have our lights on behind us and this is where I actually do my makeup every single day for work. Right beside me I have my filming setup. This is what you guys see behind you. And in my old house, in my old apartment, my filming background was also where I did my makeup, but now that I have a room that I can dedicate to this, I'm able to have one area that's always ready to go for filming and one area that is just set up the way I like it to get ready. So we're gonna start off with this mirror from Structube. I'll leave it linked down below. It's a great dupe for the anthropology mirror at a fraction of the cost. And I just love having this whole big sort of princess inspired area to get ready and do my makeup every morning. But more importantly, I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup collection, which is what I keep on top of the desk and what I keep in here. So I'm going to start with this area here. This is um, a set of kind of makeup organizers from Refer and they're all magnetic so they come apart. So this first one here is all of my eye brushes. I say eye brushes and small brushes, but all of my eye brushes, for the most part, there's Refer, um, some that I get in like Ipsy and BoxyCharm, there's some MAC in there. And what I do, um, so I know for example, these ones, I've just kind of used them lightly with my everyday shadows. But once they get dirty, I, over here, I call this the brush garbage. Um, it's just a coffee mug, it's really cute. Right now it has two dirty beauty blenders in there, but I keep it back there. And I call it my brush garbage, not because I'm throwing them in the garbage, but it just means that uh, they're dirty and it need to be washed. And so I just, once they get to the point, um, obviously for filming, I like them like really, really fresh. But to be honest, when I'm doing my makeup every day and it's just the same kind of neutrally pinky browns, I'll put it back in there and use a brush a couple times, especially because I use the same brush for the same things. So as they're dirty, I put them in the back in here. Oops, this one is in the wrong place. We will move that. And then I also keep just a handy little pair of tweezers in here. And that's just where I like to keep them. I like to have tweezers on hand. The second compartment, these are my larger face brushes. As you can see, I've recently washed them, so lots of clean ones. And then my bronzer brush, I mean, again, I'm not so worried about it not being brand new and clean every time I use it because bronzer's always the same color on me. Mostly rougher, um, this one's a MAC, and my Merit foundation brush, I really enjoy that one. So yeah, just all my larger face brushes. So then, these are all Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and they are all nudes. Okay, so these are a bunch of kind of nude pink Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So here we have Runway Royalty. This is Super You. We've got this American Sweetheart. Yeah, American Sweetheart. Um, catwalking. Wedding Bells. I think, is this one? Yeah, Stoned Rose. I think this is, oh. Pillow talk. I was gonna say very Victoria for a moment. Uh, Coachella Coral and New Island Dream. And anyway, so I just I keep these in this little nine pan, nine pan, nine little lipstick box. And what I like about it is basically for the looks that I'm doing for work, any one of these I can just grab it and put it on, and it's really really effortless. Of course, like when you're doing your makeup, of course there's probably a best lipstick to go with it. But for the most part, any one of these gets the job done. The other thing I like about this little setup for just everyday neutral nude lipsticks for me is I can grab any one of them, put them in my purse, and I'm good to go. I don't have to think twice about it. Okay, so next up over here, we have the section that I like to call my eye sticks. So um, we're gonna move out the gloss. Okay, so in this little compartment here, um, it's a little divided compartment, I have everything in eye stick form. I've got brow products, eyeliners, there's usually mascara in here, I've got a little perfume, and I just really have all the little tiny pencils that I need to go about my makeup day. And then the final compartment is sort of my everyday foundation compartment. So I will take out what I've got in here. So these are the complexion products that I reach for the most. I'm actually gonna bring the Airbrush Flawless out of my rotation because I haven't been reaching for kind of 
thicker matte foundations like that. So we've got the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SVF 15. I wear it in the shade Cool Ivory. And then, oh, you know what, let's put this Auric Glow Lust in the back first. That is in Morganite. And then we've got, uh, I enjoy this one. This is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation SPF 40. And I wear it in the shade Porcelain. And then I think we're going to go with our Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade 1, which I'm always using. We'll put that there. Then we're going to put our NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Mont Blanc. And then a new one to my collection. This is Hermes Plein Air, and I wear it in the shade 20. Put that there. And then I like to put my NARS Liquid Orgasm Blush up front. I reach for that a fair bit. My Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin is a favorite of mine. And then I have a second Merit Complexion Brush. I like to keep that up front. My NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Light 2, which is vanilla. And then I keep my Chanel Mascara up front, a NARS lip gloss in Chelsea Girls, and just a little Merit Brow Pencil. They're not all complexion products, but, you know, for the most part, complexion products and products I'm always reaching for. Then behind here, before I put everything back together, I just have two long comb perfumes, and I just, you know, I reach for them a fair bit. They're pretty neutral and nice for every day. And then in this little Disney Princess mug, um, I just have... A whole bunch of scrunchies and you know, little hair elastics, things like that. And I find I'm always looking for one. So let me just bring that back together and I'll take you on to the next part of the tour. While we're here, I feel the need to organize. So I just popped in my airbrush flawless setting spray, which I was keeping outside, but now that I've moved that foundation, it fits in nicely. So now I'm gonna bring you into what I have in this little compartment here. So let's just pull those products out. Okay, so I'm getting pretty low on my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. So I brought this one from MAC out of my kind of storage collection to give it a try and see if I enjoy it. Also got a Givenchy perfume. This is in Irresistible, which again is a really nice fruity kind of fresh, more floral scent for every day. On this beautiful little crystal tray, a bit of a catch-all, but in here, as well take everything out. So I have just a little bit of kind of my everyday gold jewelry. This is a jewelry that I'm definitely wearing to work. Um, I don't keep it in the jewelry box because I'm always just on and off and I keep it right in there. Then I have L'Entre D by Givenchy and Nocturnal Jasmine. More of a sexy date night kind of perfume and I like the bottle. My Olaplex number seven bonding oil, a nail oil, little mini sunscreen. I often have that in my purse. And then I've just got my MAC Paint Pot in Paint Really. And I had a lip gloss there, but I'm gonna pop the lip gloss over here now. And actually, I think Paint Really can now sit on top over there. Then I have a hand cream, and then two new skincare products that I was sent that I'm gonna start testing out because I'm just finishing up my face oil. I'm gonna just pop those back into that corner. Generally speaking, I like to keep this part of my desk um, or my vanity opens so that way I can kind of be doing my makeup down underneath here I do keep a makeup mirror it does plug in um, and it needs to be cleaned but I generally don't use it plugged in this is just if I really need to get up close and you know do my eyeliner or something like that but I normally just store that under my desk okay so next up we have my little Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad these are my favorite Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads, of course, because I can reach for them every single day. So let's open those up. First up, we have Copper Charge, which I think is a really pretty sort of golden warm tone. We have the Rebel, which is just beautiful, beautiful olive green. Um, this one, oh, Walk of No Shame. This is one that always intimidated me, but I actually did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame collection, and it's actually really pretty for like a date night. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Dreams. This is Star Aura. Of all of these palettes, Star Aura is the one I keep in the front because that is the palette that I use most often for work. Then we have, is this one Celestial Pearl? Yes, Celestial Pearl reminds me of Star Aura, but to me, this is like the date night equivalent. 
Then we have Exaggerize, which Charlotte has just released a Eyes to Mesmerize in, and I'm having it sent to me. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorites to work as well. And then we have Fire Rose, which I just keep out here more for date night. It's just, it's so beautiful, and I wish you'd bring it back. And there we go. Everyone's back in place. We have sort of the more work-friendly ones in the front the more evening ones in the back and the special occasion ones in the far back and I just keep that just like this. Now I have my new Charlotte Tilbury Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This is the Invisible UV Flawless Primer. I like to keep this out um, along with my Super Goop as a very firm reminder to wear sunscreen. I find that sometimes I can fall into the bad habit of forgetting to wear my sunscreen, especially in summer uh, where you should not be forgetting it. So by leaving it out, it's kind of top of mind. In this little container, I have just some little Q-tips, which I definitely use to, you know, just fix up my makeup. I just, I like having them on hand. I find they're really handy. And this little container is actually kind of meaningful to me because we had it in my house growing up and there's a whole set of them. And I don't know what happened to the other ones, but when I moved out, I kind of just grabbed this one. So it's mine now. Uh, okay, we're gonna get to this in a minute. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So here I have my clean beauty blenders, beauty sponges and some benefit brow passes um, just as a reminder um, I like to have them there I need to put them in my wallet but I have them there for now but anyways we have our little beauty sponges uh, over here we have more eye sticks these ones are in a different container first of all I got this little jar in Paris um, when I was at uh, at the Louvre we were at the Louvre when we bought this but in here all of these are questionable they might be expired they might not be good anymore and so I've put them all in here and they're sort of in a quarantine zone so as I'm doing my makeup I'll bring it out I will try it and if it's not working the way I want it to do it then I'll throw them out so it's kind of like a chopping block but they're just more like possibly expired and dried out but I didn't want to throw them out before um testing them and then over here, first of all, one of my favorite mugs. This has the faces of all of the queens and kings of England and their years and their names. And most importantly, we've got our current Queen Elizabeth II. Anyways, I just thought those was a cute cup off Amazon. Um, and then in here, I've got a primer. I've got another sunscreen and a few new, um, you know, like eyeliners and brow products. These are all recent products from Ipsy. I keep them in this cup as sort of a reminder to use them. I find that with my makeup collection, um, I like to have things front and center. So that way I kind of remember they're there. And I have this little mug over here, which I can only describe as the equivalent of a junk drawer, like lottery tickets and gift cards and pens. And I just keep it kind of tucked back behind there so you don't even see it when we're filming but I just find it's nice to have a place to put your junk sometimes. This is my diffuser and I was just running it before filming. And I used a beautiful sort of like floral lime scent. It was really, really nice. And I like to just do this to freshen up the room. So this one is from Sage. Okay, so next up we have more everyday lipsticks. So these lipsticks, they're not all nudes and neutrals. Um, these are just more like my luxury high-end lipsticks. We've got our Chanel's, We've got some Bobbi Brown, we've got a Dior, some Hermes, we have this little Merit one, a Rare Beauty. I recognize that these two brands are not like on par with, you know, in terms of the prestige of the name with these brands, but you know, just everyday lipsticks I reach for a fair bit. And I also, I just, I like the Charlotte ones all being gold. And then a few more Charlotte ones that I reach for quite often and some Natasha Denona. So I'll start here with my Chanel lipsticks. These are both um, Arthur from the Chanel Boy collection. This one is my original Arthur, which I bought before going to Paris over a decade ago. And I just keep it for the memories. And then this is the new one that I actually wear. I think I'm gonna move this one into my makeup memory drawer though. I've been actually starting a bit of a process of trying to move some of these sentimental makeup products into a place where they can be sentimental to really try to bring this whole space to being functional. In particular, I love Chanel's Rouge Coco Bloom. This is probably one of the lipsticks I reach for the most on a daily basis. And yeah, anyways, I, just, I like my Chanel lipsticks. I like the containers, okay? Next up over here, we have Dior. So I have two of my Dior lipsticks here. I have a couple others that I don't wear as much kind of pushed aside, but this is a beautiful red and this is a beautiful beige. 
Then we have three Bobbi Brown lipsticks. And I do also really enjoy these. I will say I don't really wear reds in the summer, but fall, winter, obsessed. So these are my Arez lipsticks. This is probably the one I use the most, which is Rose Apiece, or I just call it Spicy Rose because I always pronounce it wrong. Uh, this is Beige Naturel, another one I reach for a fair bit. This is a really pretty summer shade. It was limited edition and its name is Satin Corel Aqua. And then this one, I don't wear as much as I thought I would. This is Rose Tamise, which is again, really pretty. You can tell the limited edition ones because they have the color and the regular ones are just in the standard packaging. All of the packaging is reusable, so you can always just buy the refill. So sometimes the fun of buying the limited edition is just knowing that if I ever use up the lipstick or it goes bad, I can always pop in another one. These are a little bit of a mix. We've got Merit Baby. Again, this one, I love it for work. Very appropriate, um, really understated. Rare Beauty, this is a new one. This is Humble. We've got two Natasha Denona lipsticks. And I gotta say, I like Natasha's eyeshadows better than her lipsticks. And here we have four more Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Very Victoria. Uh, is this Nude Romance? Yeah, this is Nude Romance. Only Muse and Dance Floor Princess. And honestly, I wish I could keep 12 lipsticks here because I would if I could, but I can't. Um, there's no reason that these ones are, well, sort of. There's no reason in terms of color that these ones are over here. I will say these two because they are in the rose gold could be placed over here, no problem, because I like it all matching. Um, these two will always be over here because they're not in the same color packaging. Maybe that's silly, but you know, it's just what I like. But these colors, again, I reach them all the time, pop them in my purse, not a problem. Okay, so that takes care of the top of the desk. Now we're gonna move to just one thing I keep up here. This is where I keep my everyday skincare routine. And I really like this little glass jar. And I just find if I kept it here, it would just be too cluttered and I have the space right up here for it. So let's go through what I have in here. Okay, so here we have what's in my current skincare routine. So this Yensa Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream, um, I really like it. I think it's a total dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Um, I really, really enjoy it. I've recently finished up my Magic Cream, so I need to repurchase. But I've been enjoying this one as well. Uh, this is absolutely essential to me. This is the Fresh Kombucha Treatment Essence. It like just locks in the moisture. I feel like it's really benefited my skin barrier. Um, Murad Hydrating Toner. I enjoy this one a lot. This is new to my collection. I recently got it in Ipsy. It's by Sunday Riley. It is a pink drink firming resurfacing essence. So I've been enjoying that one too. I've been wanting to test that one out before I totally run out of this one. I do prefer this one, but I'm enjoying this one as well. Uh, more sunscreen because I just, um, I just want to keep sunscreen just everywhere in my collection. Then we've got the Ceramize Peptize Quench, which I really enjoy. So this is a new one. It's not new to me. I've used, I've, this is my third bottle of it, but it's like a fresh one. I've been using this Biosan Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum for a while, and it is on its last few drops. So this is going to be the one that will kind of rotate in next. And then I've been testing out this one just as I finish it up to see if I enjoy it. And I haven't made up my mind yet. Got my Charlotte Tilbury Collagen uh, Superfusion Facial Oil, which I've used a fair bit of. So let me know if you'd like a review on it. I'm always hesitant to do skincare reviews too soon. Then from Biosonics, we got the Squalene Omega Repair Cream, which I'm currently using as a night cream and the Sugar Lip Polish. And then just a few little kind of junky things, I guess. We've got Whey Hair Oil Sample, um, a little skincare tool. We've got some more sunscreen and some more moisturizer. I also keep things like my deodorant and my detangler up there. But anyways, this little container, I got it at a thrift store. I think it was just so beautiful. I love the look of the glass. I also got this glass um, when I was at a thrift store as well. Okay, so the moment of, of like the piece de resistance, let's, let's explore this zone. This is, I think, where the real magic happens. So what I want you to picture when I'm doing my makeup is I've got my complexion products here, my brushes here, but I've got kind of most of what I need in terms of powders and colors in here, as well as kind of 
overflow storage. So I'm gonna take you left to right, explain what's in each section. In some areas, I will give you a bit of a closer look about what's inside. In particular, my pride and joy is probably this section here. I have everything organized by containers. So this is the Ikea Malm desk, but I have everything with the little storage containers that really makes it easy for me to get in and out of everything. So I'll start by just saying that with the organization of this, honestly, like beauty heaven, the stuff that I'm gonna say is in this box here, kind of in the middle is the stuff I reach for the most and the things on either side I reach for less often. So let's start here. We can remove this so we can get a better view of everything. So this is just a collection of mostly lip products, although as you can see, there is a little eyeshadow palette in there. These are just mostly work-friendly lipstick colors. Um, some are a little more bold, some I'm not as obsessed with. We've got lots of L'Oreal ones in there. We've got Kiko, and then just a really great little eyeshadow palette for work. So if we pull this one forward, we've got lots of different face powders. We've got lots of MAC blushes. Um, with the exception of this Tower 28, everyone in this section is a powder product. I have a different spot for the creams. In this section, this is basically the miscellaneous one, but generally speaking, we've got concealers, primers, and beauty tools, which I know they don't really go together, but they go together to me. They're just, they just go in that container. This one, again, we have more sunscreen. As you can tell, I like to keep my sunscreens everywhere. Generally speaking, complexion products. This Yensa is a new one that I got in an Ipsy and the color match is fantastic. So I'm excited to give that one a try. And then, yeah, just in here, for the most part, we've got a nice little collection of complexion products. We've got this Kosas one. And then I don't want to mess up what I've got going on here. Everything is kept in a very careful balance. But in here we have more, generally speaking, things in stick form. So like brow pencils, etc. cetera. Um, and for some reason we have an hourglass little quad in there. Trio, trio, face powder, trio. So of course, everything truly fits in with no room to spare. Okay, so up here we have more liquid and cream products. So for example, we have these Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands. We've got the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Basically in here, that's where we've got all of our different liquid type products. Something I do wanna share about this collection is, look, could it be neater? Yes. Are there gonna be people on the internet who are gonna say I should declutter? Probably, do I care? No, um, I like makeup. So we've got these kind of three products over here that have sort of spilled over. This is a NARS Cream Blush and Orgasm. We've got one of the Merit Flush Balms and we have the Becca Times Smashbox um, Color Corrector. So generally speaking, in this next section, we have different lip glosses and lip products, um, but these are just some spillover blushes. I'm not so worried about if each container perfectly has, you know, just things in its like category in it. For me, it's just more like, I know that generally my cream blushes are here. Generally I have lip glosses here. Generally I have complexion here. I just, I like it all to work. So here we have some new, these are some of the new benefit blushes. So for example, we have Willa. I just did a video trying these all on. So you can definitely check that out but these are the shades that I enjoyed the most. Kaja, and this one is from Maybelline, and then we have a little, oh, Shelly just knocked on over. See, this is why I don't normally take people for tours in here, because everything just fits. It just works for me, okay? So this is Guerlain um, Meteorites Powder, and then over here we have some more complexion products. So I'll pull some of these out. Honestly, I'm constantly amazed by what all fits in here. So we've got the Bite Beauty, recently discontinued brand. We've got Trini London, which I need to try some more. I was recently sent that. Um, let's go in with the Elia. No, you know what, no. This is, <laughs> this is the Dior Skin Glow. Um, this one is their old formula, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Then we've got our Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. We've got our It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. And we've got uh, the Chanel CC Cream, which I enjoy a lot. Getting near the end of that one. We're gonna go in with our Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. Our Kiko that I just picked up in Europe. 
um, this little Elia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. Then we have the Elia True Skin Serum, which I enjoy as well, and this Trini London that I need to test out. So if ever I feel like I don't have what I need up here, I've got kind of a, you know, just a next selection. Sometimes I do swap out products from here in there, and I just find that when I have products in front of me, I reach them more. So sometimes there is some switching back and forth between those two. Next up, we are getting into the Charlotte Tilbury section. So I've got my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer and the brush that came with it. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury powder highlighter and just more Charlotte Tilbury complexion products in there, like the, like the Filmstar Bronzing Glow. Um, we've got just, just a bunch of Charlotte in there. That's kind of the Charlotte only bin. Next up over here, we have, generally speaking, the Pat McGrath bin. However, I do keep this Chanel bronzer there because there isn't really a better place to put it. But in here, I have a whole bunch of my Pat McGrath quads. These are the Pat McGrath that I keep in that particular container. Lots of her quads. I keep her larger palettes in a different place. So this section here holds most of my dewer powders. So I've got some eyeshadow quins. I've got back in there some highlighters. This next section here, other than these two, holds, um, again, generally speaking, Chanel um, powdered products. It's kind of, kind of hard to see because it's all dark and black in there. And then this section here, for the most part, holds Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, but it does hold some other potted cream shadows. So if I know if I need a cream shadow, they're right over here. And I've got these little quote lipsticks or lip balms. They're tinted. They're great dupes for the basically chronically sold out um, Dior ones. Moving into this section here, um, these are so these ones. Yeah, I'll just I'll bring them up here. So this section I just kind of call my favorite luxury powders. So from Chanel and Dior. So I've got I believe is this what color shade is this one called again? Plum Neutral, I've got the Setting Powder, I've got the Highlighting Quad, reach for this all the time. Then we have some Chanel eyeshadows, we've got a bronzer and a face powder, and I keep these in this little section right here. Now right up here I keep three eyeshadow kind of palettes and quads that I would, generally speaking, be willing to keep with my Charlotte Tilbury, but again, I just, I like how neat they look. So this is De La Creme from Tom Ford. I wear this all the time for work. This is the NARS Orgasm Quad. I wear that to work all the time. This is a newer one. This is from Kiko. I picked it up while I was in Europe and it is Festival Glow. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, Festival Glow Collection in the shade Purple Rain. And so I just like to keep these again right here for easy access. And I know that basically any of these I can put together a really easy work look. And the last part I have to share with you is this massive kind of blush collection zone and setting powders, mostly blush. So in the place of prominence, of course, is my Charlotte Tilbury blushes and powder. I include the powder because it's the same size. So, so the three blushes I use the most are First Love, Ecstasy, and Love Glow. And then in the back, we have um, Sex on Fire, we've got Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Intense, and Walk of No Shame. Yes, Walk of No Shame. Um, but I definitely use these three shades the most. I think these are more flattering for, for fair complexions like mine. And then I use her powder in the shade Fair, and I've gone through so many of those. The next up, we have my Pat McGrath blushes. Over here, we have the two of the new two-toned, and then we have four of the regular collection. And I find that I actually wear this one probably the most lately. This is Divine Rose 2, and at first I thought it was a little too bold on me, but as I've gone with a lighter hand, I think it looks really pretty when I have a tan. Another favorite of mine is Flirtatious. So those are probably the two I reach for the most, but overall, I really enjoy these blushes. And I have two blushes and one highlighter from Hermes. This is Rose Ombre, and this is Rose Pouvre, and this shade was actually an Asia exclusive, but I love these. This is probably my favorite shade from Hermes and I reach for this one quite a fair bit. I hope you can kind of tell. I know I don't really hit pan on my products. I haven't actually used this highlighter yet because I think the embossing is just, there we go. I think the embossing is just so pretty. 
but I have a plan to use it. So this little Lottie London I got in an Ipsy, but we have a Laura Mercier blush and a highlighter. I think this blush is in chai. Yeah, that's in chai. And then I have two Patrick Ta blushes and I really enjoy that formula as well. And honestly, I reach for this highlighter a fair bit. It is the Rose Glow, it's not gonna come to focus, but it is Laura Mercier's Rose Glow highlighter. I think that one's really pretty. And to finish it off, we have a setting powder from Gucci that I think is just so pretty. Two of these shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown, which again, these like these are my summer colors. So I need to reach for these more. And a new blush from Kylie Cosmetics that I was just sent recently in PR in the shade Pink Power. And that is because Kylie Jenner's products are now at Shoppers Drug Mart. So let's fill this up. I did take a minute to clean this between filming because, you know, if you're gonna take everything out, you might as well make it clean. So there you have it. That is my everyday makeup collection. These are the products that I'm reaching for every day, whether I'm filming for YouTube or not. Honestly, more often than not, I'm not filming for YouTube. I'm just going to work. So yeah, anyways, this is my everyday makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I am planning on doing a full beauty room tour. I know you got a little bit of a sneak peek, but um, yeah, anyways, I am planning on doing that. And I sort of see this as the first step in sharing that with you. So I hope you enjoyed. If you love luxury and high-end makeup and beauty, then subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah. One sneak peek I will give you is my gallery wall. But when I do the full tour, I will explain the meaning and the reason I chose all of those pieces.